Hi and welcome back you guys. Today I got a couple of these new Glam Fantasy. I say new because it's my first time trying them out. They do look really fancy. I've tried many of the gel version, but the Fantasy kind of have a little bit more of a sparkle and since it's the holiday and there's gonna be so many dinner events, I figured why not give it a try. So if you guys wanna know if these actually work and if they'll stay on your nail for at least two to three weeks, then continue watching and I'll show you guys step by step on tricks on how to keep it on for a very long time. So for today's video, I'm actually gonna demo this one just because it has a very beautiful sparkle but yet dark color. I think it'd be really nice with my cocktail dress. And if you guys are curious about these other two sets, then let me know, comment down below and I'll do another review on these. So you guys, I've done this so many times that I kind of already know my size and what comes in the kit, but if you guys are new out there, pretty much in the kit, you're gonna get the glue that comes with it. This one is a 28 piece that will give you two sets, and if you do it the way I teach you, you'll actually get to be able to wear this for about two months. And then you get your tiny little kit that comes with a little nail file and a little cuticle pusher. To tell you the truth, I never use this because it's just too small and it gets in the way. I do love, love, love their glue. It's a pain in the ass to open. So what I've always done is I buy this glue and I use this one. It actually does stay on really well. Also because the way the lid closed really easily, it's easy for me to put in my purse in case there's an emergency, it gets snagged onto something. I could just re-glue it and go on with my day. So grab one of these because they're like $2.99. So let's get started. The way the press on nail works is that in each of the kit, it comes with size. And the way you know the size of your nail bed is, test it on your nail bed, flip the nail under, and if you see the number, that's the number that fits your nail bed. So I've sized my nail bed, and what I've done is I lay it out to make it a lot easier. I've done the fancy version, which is too matte and some colorful and sparkle in the middle. I thought that would be pretty. Once you have all your nail bed chose out and you like the setting, you're gonna need one of these nail files. They're about a dollar. You can find them anywhere, honestly. They're gonna make your life a lot easier. Another thing that is not included in the kit that you're gonna need is some acetone or some alcohol. If you don't wear nail polish on a regular base, you can use alcohol. I prefer it that way because I don't use nail polish. But if you do wear nail polish, acetone will do both job and take care of the problem. The other thing you're gonna need is some good cuticle oil. If you don't have any cuticle oil, use some really hydrating hand cream or hand mask or your coconut oil. Whatever you can find, you just wanna rehydrate the nails back because you'll see that we're gonna put it through some buffing, some filing, and you wanna just hydrate your cuticle back because if your cuticles are pretty, then your nail set is gonna look even more better. So let's get started, you guys. So I'm gonna give an example on my thumb. Now, because we are wearing square shape, it's okay for me to do my nail square underneath or a little rounded. If I was wearing it pointy, I would have to cut the size to shape the nail bed. Um, then the press on, I apologize. So if I was gonna wear a pointed version or a coffin, I'm gonna shape my nails as closest to that so that it doesn't leak out on the side. The square one is the easiest press on that you could wear to tell you the truth because at any time if it's too long or it's um, in your way, you can always cut it and shape it back. It's a lot easier to shape a square shape than a coffin or a pointed nail. So what I like to do is just clean the side, making it a nice line also just right here. And then again, we're gonna do it square. I like to do around the corner, just a little bit more rounded, so it doesn't poke through the press on. Once I have that done, I'm gonna take the same file. I'm just gonna rough the top of it a little bit. And the reason why you want to rough the top, you want, it, you want the glue and the press on to absorb onto your natural nail bed so that it will stay on as long as possible. Then once you have this kind of lightly rough, you wanna take a look at your cuticle. If your cuticle is really roughed up or it's cracked, take a cuticle trimmer and lightly trim it because you want the nail to be as beautiful as possible so that you, when you put the press on nail, it's gonna sit lovely. And then the last part is you're gonna need a cuticle pusher. If you don't have a cuticle pusher and you don't wanna use the one that came in the kit, the press on nail will work. So what I've always done is the part that sits on, underneath your cuticle, I just use that lightly to push it back now for you guys out there who are new to this, I highly recommend to use a cuticle pusher because you might push on it a little too hard and crack the nail bed. I've done it so much that I can literally do it with my eyes closed. 
and you just want to give it a light push back. The reason why is you want the press on to sit right underneath your um, cuticle. One, it'll look really smooth when you run your hand to it. Two, it gives it a more natural look. And the last part, it will eliminate it will eliminate a lot of nail lifting because if you put it on top of the cuticle or away from the cuticle, water will get underneath or your hair will get snag onto this and that's the reason why your nail lifts really, really fast. So again, lightly rough. Push your cuticle back. Once that's done, we're gonna go wash our hand and then we're gonna dehydrate. When I say dehydrate, what that means is even though we wash our hand, the, the nail... Even though we wash our hand, the soap has a little bit of oil in there. So that's where the acetone or the alcohol is gonna come in handy to dehydrate and remove any excess oil. If you know anything about oil, oil and glue, they're gonna slip and slide. So you want it dehydrated so there's no type of oil or grease on your nail bed. So I'm gonna go wash my hand, then I'm gonna dehydrate it, and then we'll apply the press on. So now that my hand is nicely washed, you could kind of see there's still a tiny little debris. Um, so cotton ball and a little bit of alcohol or acetone. We're just gonna go right in there and we're gonna dehydrate the nail bed. Just like that. And you'll know when it gets dehydrated, you'll, your skin will look a little bit white, the nail will look really, really dried out. Okay, so I like to just go and check if there's any fuzz from this. I like to remove it off. With the nail bed, I'm just gonna lightly push it back in again to find my landing spot. You always wanna look and make sure your nail bed is straight and not crooked. Now that I see that it looks good, I'm gonna apply the glue on. Now, some people will glue it on the nail bed and press it on. I don't like it that way because the glue spills onto my cuticle and it could be because my nail bed's really small. So I'm just gonna go on with the brush and just brush it right onto my nail bed. Now, I don't go right to the cuticle. I go as close as possible because I don't want over spilling because it's really painful when it sticks to your cuticle or the size of your nail. So once I give it a nice coat, I just go right back with a tiny little bit more in the middle. And then remember what I said, we're just gonna push. So there's already a landing spot for me. Then I'm gonna look straight before I even press it down. It does look straight. And at this time, I'll add pressure. Now I like to hold for a couple seconds and once I feel like it's bond, cause you can almost feel it on your own fingernails, I'm gonna take my nails and we're just gonna smooth it from side to side. The reason why is you want to make sure that the press on absorb glue in every angle as possible. And then once I feel like it's good, I like to just use my thumb and give it one more nice press. You don't have to press it hard, but the goal of this is just to get it to absorb the glue and dry up as fast as possible. See? See how simple that is? So now I'm just gonna repeat this onto the rest of my nails and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like at the end and then I'll wear this for a while and let you know if it really will last two to three weeks. So as I was doing my press on nails, I looked up in the sky and look at this beautiful sunset. How amazing is that? Honestly, I'm never home around this time so I haven't seen a sunset in so long but how gorge. How oh, gorge. I thought I'd share that with you guys. Sorry, that's my ADD kicking in. Let's get back to the press on nails. Okay, you guys, so I completed the full set. This is what it looks like. Isn't it pretty? It's actually really, really easy to apply on. Now, because of the sparkles and the glitter, at the edge of the nail feels a little bit more rough than the normal press on nails. You just wanna go in with either a nail file or if you have a buffer is even better and just lightly file the tip of it so it's smooth and it won't snag onto your face, especially when you're putting on makeup. Really simple, just like that and see it already makes it better. I think a buffer would still be better, but look how beautiful that is. So you guys, I'm gonna wear this as long as it will allow me to wear it. I'll let you know if it actually lasts three weeks or not. Um, so far, the kit is very, very beautiful, very easy to apply. If you are not familiar with press-on nails, um, I will say if you like color, this set would actually be really, really beautiful. And if you're nervous about press-on, just carry the glue in your purse. It will give you a little bit more confidence. And if there's an issue, honestly, all you do is glue and press it right back on. That's the beauty about press on nails. When I had acrylic and it would crack or break, I couldn't do that. I had to make an appointment, go back and get it fixed. So this is the reason why I love press on nails. So continue watching the video if you guys want to know if this will last two to three weeks. Hey guys, so it's been three and a half weeks since I've had this babies on and I'm going to break down the pros, the cons. So the 
biggest issue that I ran into was I made a mistake of using a different glue than the one that came in the kit. I really wanted to give the brush on glue a chance. I've always used it as an emergency glue, but never as the original glue to put on when you're putting on the set. And what happened was after a week and a half, I was literally at my son's bus stop at 6.30 in the morning. And I'm not kidding you, three of it popped off when I was trying to put my hair in a bun. And I actually found it on the ground, grabbed it, and then I realized I didn't have any pockets. So I literally shoved it in my bra so that I wouldn't lose the, the nails. Um, came home and I applied it back on. And ever since I used the original glue, it's been on for three weeks now three weeks and three days. So the issue that I also ran into with the paint was the chrome, once it gets heat on there, meaning heat, like when I'm cooking or stir frying, the gas heat comes to touch it and it kind of messed up the color a little bit. But overall, that was the only issue I ran into. Um, also, this is just me. The length was just a little too long for me. I have three kids, two in a car seat, and it was really hard for me to unbuckle the car seat. So what I did after a week was trim it down to my liking. I filed it down really smooth, and it's been perfect ever since. So if you're curious about this set, I highly recommend use the glue that came in the kit because it has never failed me. Also, it does come with two in a kit, two sets in a kit. Make sure you save all the accessory because in case it does pop off and you can't find it, you can always use the replacement piece to glue it back on. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.